Guys, it's autumn. It's the season of mushrooms. And among all mushrooms, there is one, the so-called Boletus edulis in Latin, or Porcino in Italian, or Grib in Russian, or Sep in English, which is the king of mushrooms. Very simple dish to prepare, to taste the fine, smooth texture of this mushroom. You wanna know how to prepare it? Follow me in this video and you will know how. This is uh, a porcino, the king of mushrooms, the most tasting and best textured mushroom in the world. Nothing to, to see against the truffle. This is better than the truffle for me, much better. See the color. So all you need to cook this is garlic, parsley, Italian parsley, not bullshit parsley, extra virgin olive oil, made in Italy, the fresh mushroom just picked up from the boots, and missing something here. Missing something. Ta -da. Where is it? Here. Missing some white wine. Okay, that's all you need. This is bigger. <laughs> there is a trick. The other knife was wrong. Let's get out. Look at this. Look at the texture. It's amazing. I chop the parsley, not too much parsley. I, I don't want to cover the taste of the mushroom. The taste of the mushroom is very delicate. So garlic and parsley should not be redundant, as you say in English. Okay, don't get excited about the herbs and destroy the taste of the mushroom. Not much, and uh, we see later the, 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 the garlic, of course, uh, you call, um, the parsley you only add at the end of the cooking yeah, because the parsley loses taste when it's cooked. So you want to add it raw taste. Okay. Also the garlic, I don't reduce it more because I want to see it. I don't want the taste to be too much, so I don't want to have fine chop the garlic. It would be too much taste of garlic, probably. Okay, we are ready. Oil. Oil. You want to see the box of the oil. That. Look at that. It's a five liter can. This is the minimum quantity we buy in Italy. Haha, <laughs> just not joking, just joking. We also buy one liter. Temperature of the oil, not too hot. Eh? I don't want to fry. Eh? I'm not frying mushrooms. So when it's just a little bit more fluid, eh? you can see. It gets more fluid, it means the temperature is uh, warmer. You reduce the fire a little bit, it's like crazy. You put the garlic. If the spoon doesn't have a star, it won't work. Only with star. 
cachorros. I can increase the fire a little bit when the mushrooms are in, because they have a lot of water inside, so they will not burn. It's almost impossible to burn mushrooms because they have about 95% water inside. And you wait that they start to lose water. Now they are still very dry. But they will start losing water slowly. See now they are just starting to release water. They start to smoke. And you can see starting to fry. So it's the moment when they are releasing water. Now you can see they already lost volume, it's already reduced. At this point, I add up a little bit of wine, just off a glass, not much. Huh? The fire. Never cover the mushroom, never, because the water must go out. Salt. This salt is a uh, flow the cell, is uh, uh, not processed salt, looking grey. This is come from France, unfortunately. Put a bit of salt. Not much. See now they are dry. Now they are dry again. All the wine was evaporated. Parsley. Not much. I cut too much. Okay, they are ready. We shut the fire. In time, we prepare the dish. Okay, now to go with the mushrooms, I got a um, slice of uh, focaccia from Genova. This is a focaccia, it's like a bread, very tasty bread that comes from a specific city. Uh, Genoa near the sea in Italy, but you can find focaccia of different types, of course, which is also good. I like this with the mushroom because it's very tasty and very salty. So I just cut a small part of it. Okay, don't exaggerate with carbohydrates, and I will uh, warm it in a small oven. at 150 degrees so in the oven the toast bread is ready and now we are ready to prepare the dish with our mushrooms Okay, you know you are already starving. So let's take the dish. Little bit of mushrooms. Not too much because you are getting greedy. It's just a little, this is so tasty, it should not be eaten in big quantity, like ah, I want to eat all. 
it's just for the real pleasure of life. Okay, something is missing, guys. Something is missing. We are missing piece of parmesan cheese. Parmesan cheese is never cut. Never. The parmesan cheese is broken. Don't ask me why. You put this special knife and you just create a break inside. Yes, like this. Okay, our dish is ready. One more thing is missing. One more thing is missing if you really want to enjoy your dish. Which is, for example, a Verdicchio dei Castelli di Iesi Classico white wine. This is quite old. Uh, to go together. Now I know open because here it's morning. I'm not gonna drink wine in the morning. Um, white wine I suggest, not red. Beside red would be good, but because of the mushroom taste is very important and very delicate. With the white wine you go it together in a perfect way. Of course this must be from the fridge. So guys enjoy, enjoy your dish. It's a pity that camera cannot reproduce smells by here in the whole kitchen there is amazing smell of wood wood humidity uh, fern uh, musk it's amazing amazing enjoy it with your uh, fantasy Uh, guys, by the way, I forgot to say something. I know some of you would be even ready to drink this wine that I opened to cook. Please don't do that. This is uh, cooking wine. It's still good wine. People drink it uh, even uh, on the table. <coughs> but uh, honestly, if you're drinking this wine together with this porcini mushroom I prepare, I'm gonna kill you. Guys, it's autumn. It's the sea. It's bloody hell, exploding uh, balloons.